everyone, it's James. And Stephanie, and we are at the Louisville RBAA 2016 show, and we found another rig we want to share with you. Yeah, so we're here with Russ Garfin, product manager for Winnebago, and we're here to bring you a new, a brand new Class B floor plan. Now, Russ, if Steph and I were naming this, we would call this the Super Puffer Fish. Yeah, our marketing department's not too cool with that. <laughs> yeah. okay. We have a hard time remembering the, the A, the M, and the X, so we just... Yeah. We've got animal names that we've put to the area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but it's an M. It's an okay. M. So. It's an M. But the M is a brand new model? Yes, yes, a brand new model. It, it replaces our, our 70C, which we had before. Okay, okay. so it's replacing. Uh, yeah. So this will have the slide. Yep. It's okay. got, so it's the only uh, Class B with a slide room. Okay. It's got some really cool new features in it, uh, including uh, an awesome electric Murphy bed. That, an electric Murphy bed. It's my favorite right. part. Yep. We will uh, we will get right on that. Yeah. Anything else you want us to be sure to take a look at? Well, I think you should look at the cabinet construction. There's a okay. lot of there's a beefy aluminum framework to the cabinetry and the oh. wardrobe. Really? Uh, yep. Great. And, yep, and it's got the new uh, 12 volt uh, compressor, refrigerator, freezer. Yes. Oh, we uh, like compressors. Yep, and uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff like that. The bathroom is also really nice. And cool. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go. All all, right. all over it. Take a look. And away we go with the Era 170M. And you're wasting no time with the arm waving. <laughs> well, I like I like I like to get some exercise while we're doing these. <laughs> right. So here I'm checking out the running boards. Yeah, they're painted to match the rig. They look yeah, nice. They're a lot nice. They're uh, fairly sturdy and they're pretty wide. I almost could open the door while I was standing. Oh, oh. wouldn't recommend that though. Uh, all right. Frameless windows. Okay, speakers, outdoor speakers. Outdoor nice. entertainment system with a light. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Yeah. here, that's a uh, Zamp Solar Charge input. Oh, nice. Same and, system we have on our Travato. And that would be for plugging in a TV outside, I guess. Yes, right? yes, you could take your TV outside if you All wanted. right, standard plugs. Standard plugs, and that's going to pretty much wrap it up for the passenger what? side. You're all Vanna White today. <laughs> I know, I was in a mood. Um, okay, so here we are around the back, and there's actually a decent amount of storage in the back of this thing. Yeah, oh, and look at that spare tire. Too. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Okay. For the spare tire lovers, just hang on. Yeah. Um, so now here we are, and I'm showing the storage in the back. I didn't want to totally wreck their display. Oh yeah, and those tracks right there, we actually own some of those, don't we? In our house. Yeah, well, and they're out in the in the shop. Yeah, I've got like seven, eight bicycles hanging Yeah, up. so they're pretty sweet. Storage. Rubber made, and you can pick up the accessories for them at any home center. And Yeah, add some hooks to it. You can put your, I don't know, electrical cords, whatever, yeah. in the back there. So. so, and I think there I'm showing, uh, this van has a multiplex wiring, so I'm showing the wiring yeah. panel there, and there's a 12-volt outlet. And over on the Right, you see, that's a sizable upright storage compartment. But how, how sizable is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should let you play the straight man. That's uh, that, I'm five ten, so there you go, right? It's yeah, it's pretty sweet. Get some golf clubs in there, perhaps. Some really, You're not gonna get a bike or anything in there. No, but, it's not deep enough, for but, that, but it's still, very tall. Yeah, yeah. I'm showing the pockets on the doors, and they were on both doors. Now here is the swing away spare tire carrier. Okay, but first let's show the uh, the trailer hitch. There's a okay. seven pin wiring harness, nice. 5,000 pound hitch, hmm. and mounted on the hitch is the swing away spare tire carrier. So hmm. those of you who have to have the spare tire, rejoice, there yeah, you go. Yeah, but does that detach as well? Is I it... think you could probably remove it if you didn't want it. Okay, but... oh, there's the Truma circle in the back, the back right. Right, so, so it's got bent. a Truma combi. Okay. Uh, and now there I'm looking at the exhaust for the generator as well as the gray and black dump valves. Oh, oh the Greg Schultz Memorial Dump Light. Not memorial. Why is it memorial? Greg <laughs> Schultz is alive and kicking. And there you go. <laughs> Never again will you miss out on watching your sewage because it's it's nighttime. You can you can light it up. And there's the switch. Nice. Uh, now in the service center here, there's a winterization valve, part cable input, uh, fresh water tank valve, I guess, to fill the tank versus city water. Okay. Uh, low point drains and a black waste flush. Now, one thing I like about this is that there are no actual connections for the black tank in there with your fresh water. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Like sometimes Keep you'll see separate. a macerator in there. Yeah, I like it away from my fresh water. Okay. So there is the propane tank. Yeah. And, and it's 9.5 gallons, right? Yeah. I, how, how do you know that? Well, All right. We looked at the spec sheet before. So, my hey, goodness. I did my homework. All right. So, that's, <laughs> I'm showing a slide topper awning there. There's right. an awning on top of the slide. And, and that's it, a good thing. Why? Uh, to keep debris if, that might have fallen on the slide uh -huh. so that you won't pull the debris back into the uh, RV. Keeps things clean. And yeah. And there are white well. seals I'm showing on the side there, too. White seals. Serve sort of the same purpose. When you pull the slide in, it ah, wipes it clean. Nice. Um, Alcoa aluminum wheels. I believe those are an option. And now let's go inside. 
So the first thing you're going to notice going in is that it has a very luxurious feel, don't you think? Yeah, and and spacious as well because it does have a slide. And in, and in this shot, in the first of these, the mm -hmm. slide is out. Right, right. So now you're sitting in the passenger seat there, and it swivels, as does the driver's, and they're covered in ultra leather. Yeah, and it feels very nice. I like soft. the two-tone, kind of racy looking. I do. Looking. All right, so now here I am showing the dash, and it's pretty sprinter, except for this ginormous... That is a really big screen. ...touch screen that they've got in the center there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's got a lot of functions built into it, all the stuff you would expect, like satellite radio. And oh, and look, it's wrapped in carbon fiber. I'm just it, noticing in, that, The too. whole dash is oh, like that. very nice. And uh, so there is a... A USB input for okay. the uh, for the entertainment system, mm -hmm. a memory card input, oh. and HDMI input as well. Nice. And they all work with that uh, big touchscreen. Okay, what's that? That is a switch that when you flip it, it will allow you to run that main touchscreen right, right. from the house battery so you don't run down the vehicle battery mm. if you want to keep watching. Well, that's so. a very nice feature. Yeah. Uh, backup camera I'm showing there. Oh, okay. What's this? That is a mobile eye system. It's, mm. uh, it's like an RV safety system. There's no oh. rear windows on this. Okay. So they've added the mobile eye here and it will show you. You can look online. They've got a whole website. It's a third-party product. Okay. Um, but it'll show you like how many people there are, lane departure, like if there are kids walking behind your rig, that nice. kind of thing. All right. I recognize these blinds because we used to have these in our old RV dust bus. In our old Sprinter, yeah. Loved um, them. We added them ourselves because we love them so right, much. Right, and they come on the Era 70M here. Very nice. Um, just on the front, though, on the sides, they've got regular, uh, you know, like... Oh, okay. Okay, got boarded it. ...boarded kind of a shutoff. Here you're showing a rather large overhead storage compartment. Yeah, it was pretty deep. I couldn't even reach the back. So. And along with the, you know, we would call this the the super puffer fish because, you know, they've upgraded the cabinetry, the multiplex wiring, which you're seeing some of here. Right. Yeah, well, the super puffer fish is just much more um, upgraded. It's than, from casino the swanky. Fish. And it seems like they keep doing that, doesn't it, with the Aero line. Everything's getting more swanky. As, as they renew each of the floor plans, yeah, they're all getting the gloss cabinetry, the, the multiplex wiring. Yeah. Upgrades like that. Now, here we're making the bed, and we like to show this in real time, so yes. more or less real time. So um, this pole is the short pole. This is going to be for when you're making the bed. There is a long pole for when you're going to have this be your dinette as well. So right. you're not, this isn't your dinette table. Right. <laughs> and I don't know if you caught it, but there's also a bit where you slid the, uh, you slid that seat bottom forward. Oh, yes, yes. So that's step one is sliding the step forward. And then step two is the table. Step three, lower the drawbridge. Yep. Super and easy. Push a button and there you go. Bed is down. The bed is down. Now, the bed, when you jump on it, is a 52 by 75 bed. So that's close to queen. Not quite queen. Not but quite, but it's pretty darn close. It's a lot bigger than our bed in our Travato. <laughs> yeah. So now, here we're showing some uh, some behind-the-bed storage kind of underneath these extra cushions. Yeah, but that you can only access when the bed is down, so keep that in mind. Yeah, don't, don't put something here you're going to need all the time because you can only get to it with the bed down. Right. There's some other pockets there and some USB outlets, so I'm guessing that cell phone is going to go up in there. Yeah, I'd put my phone in there, my iPad iPad. This would be good for like, you know, extra pillows or something you sure. wanted to put on the bed. Yeah. Because the, again, you're only getting to it when the when the Murphy bed is down. Now that what I'm showing, that black thing kind yeah. of front and center, that's an MCD shade. Yeah. And they were thinking of everything here. So they did that so things wouldn't spill down in the crack. Right. They, to keep you from losing things in Never Never Land right. when you uh, put the bed up and down. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're showing more multiplex wiring here on the bed, and let's show you why this is a fantastic thing. Okay, yeah, there's a light on the bed. Great. Nice. You can get that with regular wiring. Uh -huh. But what you can do with multiplex wiring is, bam, turn Everything. off every light in the coach. So, like, you get in bed and you're like, crap, I forgot to turn off the bathroom right. light. Boom. You got it right there. Yeah, that's nice. It's very nice. And with the multiplex Incredibly wiring, convenient. it's easy to do. Yeah. And these reading lights are either blue or... They are white. Just there you like go. That. Yeah, you, you're 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 a pro with those reading <laughs> lights. I read a lot. I know how to work my reading lights. All right, MCD shade back behind you there, and some uh, cabinet space up above. Yep, and of course that's all with the slide out. So right, there you, you have the slide it. out here, and ooh, I did a little Vanna white there. It must have been something in the water that day. I guess. All right, so there's the whole bed. And I think what we're trying to show here is with the slide out, even with the bed down, you do have room, come on around, Steph, to uh, walk around the, the oh, end yeah. of the bed. Yeah, that's a good point. You because... wouldn't want to have the counter extension up, but, you right. know, you could you can get around there. It's yeah. not... Uh, You're going to take your time and go slow. But... Yeah, it's not spacious, <laughs> but you can do it. Yeah. And here we are putting the bed up. And I think for the next series of shots, we're going to put the slide in. 
And this is the control for the slide. And one of the great things about multiplex wiring is that it makes it so much easier to integrate a bunch of functions into one convenient control panel like this. Right, and we'll show you more on that control panel a little bit later. But okay. for right now, this is how you bring in the slide and you can see it there moving. It moves at a pretty good clip. And that's not a window, that's a mirror on the, on the front of it. Oh, it does look like a window. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, so now from the outside, there it is, boom, slides in. Yeah, uh, it's nice and sleek. It doesn't even look like there's a slide there. Yeah, the only indication would be that uh, slide top awning. Oh, true. That'd be a giveaway. <laughs> right. So now we're putting the, uh, the seat back down. And this is how it goes when I try to give Steph direction. What? <laughs> oh. oh, he was making me put the seat belt on or something. And it right. Just... There are two seat belts in there. And I wanted to highlight that. And, and that I got a no-go from Steph on that one. Well, but you the... all know what putting a seat belt on looks like. So, so there we go. Use all right. There's magic. another USB outlet right there. Okay. So, ba-boom. Um, but... And there's now the yeah, room. That's how much room you get with when the slide, the slide in. in. With the couch set up. So right. that's pretty good. Yeah, you no problems walking from the front to the back to use the restroom. Now I'm going to show you a little trick that uh, Russ showed me on uh, with the slide in. Oh, this is to make the day bed, huh? Right. It's okay. a, I wouldn't call it really a day bed. It's day bed-ish. It, it works. Right. So For I, one. For one to lie down. Right, now I move the seat forward and I turn the passenger seat around and slid it forward and boom, there we go, I'm 5'10". There we go, I'm lying on the thing. Plenty of room for a day nap without having to take the slide out. Right, but really kind of just for one. Yeah. All right, now here's the slide going back out. Okay, and so for the rest of the shots, we're going to yeah, show the rest it of the with video, the slide, the slide out. Is out. So. All right, so here I'm showing a uh, skylight, um, pretty standard kind of thing. Standard, but I think important in this floor plan because you got that Murphy bed, so there's no windows over there most of the oh, time. Oh, true. So, so the extra it, light. Yeah, it keeps the light helpful. bright in there. So now there's the TV, and if you were sitting in that bed, it'd be kind of an odd angle, but Russ showed me this trick too. You put the uh, put the seat back cushion there, and that oh. gives you a much better viewing angle It's more for like the TV. a chaise lounge then. Yeah. Okay. So now here's some controls associated with the TV. There's a control for the uh, King Jack TV antenna, mm. the TV power, 12 volt outlet there. Okay. And an HDMI input all okay. for the entertainment system. All right. Now I'm showing you there, there it is, the control panel for the Truma. Oh, yes. And uh, I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go chasing the, uh, the vents for the Truma. Oh, yes, because there's a bunch of different vents around. And, you know, that's really important. I don't know if people understand how the difference between having ducted heat in a van and versus... just heat blowing out in one place. Right. It's much more even heating. It, it's just much more comfortable to be in the van. It really is. And it's quieter. The Truma is very quiet. And having the ducts separated, here I am yeah. playing with multiplex wiring <laughs> again. Um, having the ducts separated out like that, you just, the whole coach warms up. You don't get hot spots. Yes. All right, so now we're back to, uh, that's the Jensen JW, J, JWM 990. Um, the uh, solar, charge, solar, solar charge controller for the ZAMP. And now we're back to the, uh, the control panel. It also does things like turn on the water pump, turn on the water heater, check battery levels, check tank levels. All that is wired into one control panel. All right, so now let's look at the galley. Okay, and if you're the kind of RVer who likes to cook sort of elaborate things, there are some things about this galley you will appreciate. Well, yeah, that flip-up extension is one thing, the extra counter space. And look at that three burner. I know, the burners. three burner stove. You can get an actual three burner meal going there. Yes. They had some decor there. So we'll show you the sink <laughs> in a minute once we move the decor. Um, <laughs> so upper storage. Upper plates, galley storage. I guess. Plates, utensils. Darn near anything you want up yeah, there. It's sure. pretty big. Sure. And uh, I think now we're going to show... There's a little backsplash there on the side. Yeah, isn't that a nice touch? Yeah. Looks... Now, there, we removed the decor. So we can All show right. you the sink with a bamboo cutting board. Very nice. Yeah. And the sink is kind of squarish, rectangleish. Very modern yes. looking sink. Right, it is. I like it. I like it. So, all right, that's, oh, and blinds behind the, uh, behind the gallery. Oh, yeah, and I like that they were in a track. I think we'll, we'll eventually show I think, them, Yeah, I think but... we do demo that. Here we go. They're in a track, so they're not going to go kabang, 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 kabang when you're driving down the road because they're, they're sort of constrained. Right, there. yeah, very nice. So now here we are. Notice the curved fronts on the drawers. Kind of cool. Yeah, they're nice and tight, too. These are not going to come open while you're driving along. <laughs> and she's saying that because there's a shot where she couldn't even get one of them open. <laughs> you just had a bad angle, I think. I guess. I guess. All right, so now in this, uh, in this compartment, we are showing, there we go, waterless trap and a connection for a water filter that just doesn't happen to be installed. Right oh, now. nice. Okay. So you get uh, filtered water out of the galley sink. Good. And uh, there you go, another storage compartment there. Looks like a nice deep one. Yep. 
Now here, go ahead, Steph. It's... <laughs> no, the fridge is nice. It's a Novacool fridge. It's a compressor fridge. Right. And I think it's like six cubic feet It's some, something it. close to that. It's, yeah, it's so pretty it's, darn big. It's nice and deep. I don't even know if this is doing it justice, but you're going to get a ton of stuff in that freezer fridge. on the bottom. I approve. I, I like <laughs> I like the freezer on the bottom just from an efficiency standpoint. Oh, and the microwave was convection. I don't know if you could see that. But... Indeed it was. And storage in here, it's a deep compartment. And we're about to show you it's set up for storage of your uh, your table legs. Right, and and the table itself. There's two different size poles, like we mentioned. For right, the, the table. tall one for the dinette and right. the short one for now. Mm -hmm. Russ mentioned these uh, cabinet, and it's a good thing he did because I don't know if I would have picked up on it necessarily. But the fronts of the cabinets in this giant double wardrobe thing, uh -huh. it's aluminum, and it keeps the cabinets much more rigid, you know, because that's a large expanse of cabinet. Interesting. And you're, you're building it in a moving vehicle. And so that, that front frame you right. see is actually welded aluminum. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't and know that. And then the shelves behind it, you know, uh -huh. there, there's wooden inserts in the shelves. And then there's obviously some wooden drawer boxes. Uh -huh. But uh, the aluminum framework is an well, interesting very touch. Yeah. yeah. So okay. uh, electrical service center underneath. This is the 12-volt side of things. And quite literally, it's the 12-volt side because <laughs> on the other side is the 120-volt side of things. So... Uh, there you go with the electrical. All right. So now here is the uh, the inside part of the air conditioner. It's Coleman Mach 10. Yep. And uh, the... <laughs> what? What's so funny? Oh, my. This is what happens when you let James decorate. <laughs> so. Okay, sorry. We're back in the bathroom now. All the right. uh, the shower is, uh, is fiberglass surround, not just plastic, but fiberglass. And oh, it is okay. a dedicated shower. Mm -hmm. So there's no sharing that water with the sink. You know, right. Three panel sliding door Look at there. That. that is very nice. It looks it's nice. very uh, homey feeling. Mm -hmm. sure and there's is. no way to shoot this without getting the camera. So there I am. <laughs> but just the feel of it in here is very warm and comfortable. And it's very, very spacious for a Class B. Exactly. Bathroom. For a camper van. It's so surprising to see the space in yep. a camper van and here we go we're showing all these storage in the bathroom now most of which would be taken up by someone i won't mention <laughs> who hey on our last trip who took more clothes well was my, my clothes are physically bigger than yours oh okay china toilet worth uh, worth pointing out very nice china toilet bowl mm -hmm. and uh to the side there is a shelf for reading material or, or whatever or whatever yeah that's nice. and uh a drawer i'd be lucky to get half that <laughs> in bathroom storage so there we go well right. there's enough storage in here you can have that drawer i'll give it to you really sure We'll, we'll see. Sure. <laughs> okay, so the uh, toilet paper holder is under there and a uh, pretty nice mirror up above. Mm -hmm. And that's a vent intake there for oh, the Truma. Okay. So the Truma unit is back there. There's the mirror and plenty of lighting around the mirror. Is it adequate for makeup? I don't oh, know. Oh, very much so. And look how huge that mirror is too. All right. Now this, I really liked. I just thought it was very nicely oh, done. me too. Just wait, guys. Just check this out. Oh I my gosh. I love the door. I it love the white gorgeous. panels in the door. Yeah. So it's pocket door. And uh, now... Paseo, um, what? Well, the Paseo was parked right next door. And so I used that ladder to get these shots of the oh, roof of the era. Right. So there was a King Jack antenna up there. There's the skylight, the box for the uh, ZAMP. There we go. ZAMP charge system. That is the awning. It's one of those uh, armless or legless awnings. All right, I see the Mach 10 air conditioner right there. Indeed it is. And uh, that's what it looks like from sort of far away when you're looking at your wife getting out of it. <laughs> And now, and that's underneath. my view. I'm used to that view. <laughs> All right, so underneath here, that's the freshwater tank. So this is not a four season RV. I would okay. not recommend bringing this out in the winter. Mm -hmm. But uh, there we go. We've got two AGM batteries there. They are boom. So like 200 amp hours of capacity, I believe. All right. Uh, here, that's a bunch of water lines going to the service center, which we saw from the outside. So mm -hmm. again, not winter ready. Right, 2,500 watt propane generator. Propane, okay. Yep. And this big tank there is the gray tank, which was uh, 25 gallons. Oh, and nice. Over there is the black tank, I think, which was uh, 22 gallons. Okay. It's actually had pretty big tanks on the outside. Well, for the a fresh class was B. 44. I know, it was a huge, huge fresh water tank. Yeah. And that is going to wrap it up for our review of the new Winnebago Era 170M. This is a very pretty RV. Hope you'll check it out. Yeah, and as I know right now, it's the only Class B that's got a slide. So check it out at your local Winnebago dealer. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.